Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I am Mrs. Ragini. My husband says I am good at parathas. So today I am going to share a nice paratha with onion. So dear friends, to make this onion paratha, first we need onions. So here is the onions. You know, you cannot make parathas with onions like this because onions ooze out lot of moisture you all know that so what we are going to do is first we are going to remove the moisture how we are going to remove the moisture by adding little bit of salt to the onions and we are going to mix it nicely and we are going to squeeze the water and you can just rest it for five minutes so that you know whatever moisture is there in your onions it will ooze out so this we are going to keep aside for five minutes today i'm just using one or two onions because i'm just making one or two parathas if you want to increase then increase your onion quantity and you can get an excellent parathas i'm telling you so this i'm going to keep aside meanwhile you can just mix the dough how you mix your regular uh, wheat flour dough the same way mix it but for mixing the dough you can just use this squeezed onion water see this water you can use to mix the dough so dear friends here i already mixed the dough and i kept it ready for mixing this dough i added little bit salt and little bit oil and the squeezed out onion water so and i rested it for 5 to 10 minutes so that you can get a nice Parathas. So here you can see this is nice and soft. So this I am going to keep aside. And now we are going to take the onions which I rested it for 5 minutes. To squeeze out the water what I am going to do is I am just going to use a muslin cloth and just put your onions into this. This way you can squeeze out the maximum amount of moisture. To mix the paratha, you know, we are going to add some masalas, squeezed onions and now in this, we are going to add some finely chopped ginger and some cumin powder, very little because I have very little of onion and some garam masala. You know, you can season it with whichever ingredients you want. I want to make it little bit spicy, so I am doing Indian style, some coriander powder and some chilli powder. If you want, you can add little bit of green chilies also. Very little I am using. And lot of coriander. And you know, be careful while adding salt. Because we already added good amount of salt to squeeze our onions. So, very little of salt. Not too much. And now mix it. Now this will form a nice dumpling. If you have lot of moisture in your onion, then you cannot make a dumpling out of this onion mixture. So see how nice and dry it is. This looks like a salad, isn't it? If you add some more vegetables, this will become nice salad. This is ready to go into our wheat flour dough. So just make a small dumpling. Still moisture in your onions. What you can do is you can just take some oats or you can take some, you know, chickpea flour or any flour. You can just roll this dumpling in that flour and then put it in your wheat flour mixture. Then your you know whatever the moisture is there it will absorb by the flour so here it is done i have two small dumplings and now i'm going to make two parathas so here i have the dough also ready just take a small dumpling whenever i make parathas my stuffing will be you know big and my wheat flour dough will be less so if you make it in that way you get a nice stuffed paratha with lot of you know stuffing inside it so that's it in this we are going to stuff our mixture and now we are going to seal this bring the edges together and seal it that's it so this is all ready to roll just dust some flour and now roll it very very gently so that you know whatever stuffing is there it will be in the center and it won't come out and don't make it too thin just make it little bit thick so see this you can see the stuffing is there but it's not come out because i removed all the water so that's it now this we are going to add some oil and we are going to cook this on a tawa so here the tawa is nice and hot so just add oil and now add your paratha and just rotate it once 
So just turn it to the other side so that you can cook the other side also. Parathas, you know, always you should add good amount of oil or butter. So today I am using oil. If you don't have any vegetables left over in your fridge, just make this nice simple onion paratha. Your guy is going to enjoy this. So dear friends, our onion paratha is all ready. See, nice colored on both the sides. It has cooked perfectly. In the last, just you know, put one cube of butter and you can enjoy this onion paratha. You know, today onion paratha, I made the plain. This dough I have stuffed with this onion what you can do is before rolling it just take some you know this is kalonji that is onion seeds and you know just press it so that your kalonji will stick to this and one side you can you know stick the kalonji and other side you know just sprinkle some spring onion greens so that you know, if you feed your family, they will know that you have made this paratha with onions. And now just roll this. These ingredients will stick to our dough. So now just dust some flour and now we are going to roll it. You know, all the spring onion and the kalonji seeds will stick into your dough. See, that's it. And now this you can again add some oil and you know cook till you get a nice golden color like how I made this. So whichever way you want to make it, make it one is plain and one is with you know spring onions and kalonji seeds. So this is done. What you can do is you can just cut into two halves and you can enjoy it for morning breakfast or even for lunch also for your kids or even for you. So dear friends I hope you enjoyed this very very nice and simple paratha that is onion paratha. If you see the stuffing inside this, it is equally distributed, see? And, and give some curd beside, mm, super, very nice. Totally, this onion paratha is mind blowing. So dear friends, please, please try this and share with your friends. They are going to enjoy it and you are going to enjoy it. See you in another session with some more recipes that too home style.